Another freaking steel hedge trimmer. Are you serious? Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and we have more steel hedge trimmers. Steel just keeps bringing out more and more and more hedge trimmers, whether they be gasoline or battery powered. Steel understands as a company that this is a massive segment for many homeowners. Even those homeowners who don't have big yards, a lot of them still have lots and lots of shrubs and hedges that need pruned. So Steel again is at it with a new product, actually two new products, and we're gonna open them up today. Beside me, I have the HSA 30 and the HSA 40 hedge trimmer. Now, just a little hint or a little thing to know, these HSA 30 and HSA 40 are replacing the current HSA 45, the little AI battery powered hedge trimmer. This has been out since, I'd say 2016? Somewhere around there. I, I didn't look. I'm sorry. I didn't look exactly, but it's it's been out for a number of years. Um, and we always laughed at it. It wasn't a big seller, but of the AI line, this is the AI line. It had the integrated battery setup. This was the actually the one tool that was pretty decent. And what really made people love it is how light it was. It came in just over five pounds. In fact, 5.1 pounds. It had a 20 inch blade and it ran for around 40 minutes on a charge. So for a lot of people, an excellent hedge trimmer. Well, out with the old and in with the new. Welcome the HSA 30 and the HSA 40. Let's go ahead and crack one open today and we'll get a look at what we have, what comes with it. So before we even get into it, uh, the HSA 30, looking at the box, it's a 10.8 volt uh, hedge trimmer. It's It uh, runs up to 50 minutes. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll take a look at that. Uh, it's got a 0.8 inch uh, cut. It's a 17 inch blade. It weighs 4.9 pounds uh, with the battery. So this is the HSA 30 and it comes with uh, an AS2 battery and an AL1 charger. And there is our head trimmer. So we'll open that in a minute. And then on the other side, the HSA 40 is a little bit bigger. It's a 20 inch uh, 0.9 inch, so 0.8 inch wide cut versus 0.9 inch wide cut. It comes in at 5.1 pounds, which is, I believe it was slightly or right at about the same weight as the HSA 45. So slightly heavier maybe, but really the same weight, uh, same blade length, but a larger cut, a 0.9 inch cut, and also more shuffles per minute, strokes per minute. Both of these are putting out 2,800 strokes per minute. And the HSA 45 right here was putting out 2,500. Now, one thing I noticed, I haven't cracked these boxes yet, is the HSA 40 comes with two AS2 batteries. Currently, by the book, there is a $30 or $40 price difference between these two hedge trimmers. But the HSA 30 comes with one battery. The HSA 40 comes with two. Uh, runtime with one battery, they're stating 30 minutes. So we'd have a 60-minute runtime out of this guy with the two batteries. These batteries right now are selling for 60 bucks. So it is a cheaper way to get a spare battery. Now, maybe you wanna save a little bit of weight. Well, then maybe look at this HSA 30, but I'm kind of thinking now that I got in some 30s, I'm gonna sell more 40s. I shouldn't tell you this, but I will. So check it out. Let's go ahead, let's start with the HSA 40. Let's break into it and see what we get. These boxes are a little fun, but we pop open, boom, and slide this baby out. Here we go. Our steel HSA 40. Man, it feels really good. Let's see what else we got in the box. Let's set this down a minute. We have our owner's manual. That's always a good read. Uh, safety wise, we should read that battery maintenance storage wise and also blade maintenance guys. Uh, these head trimmers are definitely not just to use it and forget about and don't do anything with. The blades do need some love over time. They do need some lubrication when you're done using them or even in the middle of using them, depending on what you're cutting. So don't, don't pass up on that. All right, and also in here should be, if I can get it to come out, we'll maybe pop this box another way. We should have a charger and two batteries. So here we go. Here's our charger that comes. This this uh, charger, you may look familiar. Maybe you have yourself one of the other steel AS products like the uh, GTA 26, one of our favorite tools. 
and also the HSA 26 little head trimmer. And if you haven't tried it, the SEA 20 vacuum, that's a sweet little thing. So as promised, two batteries. Now, if you look, this machine only holds one battery. So it's not that it's holding two, but you've got extra 30 minutes of run time. Uh, that's what I looked pre pre investigation said that each battery would run 30 minutes. So out of the HSA 40, we're going to have 60 minutes of runtime available out of the box. The battery is going to go in like this. We are dual lever safety, right? So we have to have our hand on the front and pull the trigger and go. You'll notice there's a battery uh, charge indicator here on the side that we can press. The same thing was on the HSA 45. Now let's look at them closely side by side. So if you look at them, you know, they look pretty similar, but you'll notice a longer, I think a longer rear handle on the HSA 40. That should be a little more, I think, I think it's good. It actually feels good when I was just pulled out of the box. It just felt balanced. Well, I also noticed a small thing and I don't know what it's going to do, but this front deflector or not deflect guard really to keep your hand from going in there is laying flatter on the HSA 40 versus on the 45 that's sitting more uh, erect on it. So there we go. Also the 45 kind of has a three position. You actually have to hold this lever forward, but as soon as you take your hand off the rear, you've got to re-engage that. So I like that change that we don't have that. Now let's get a look at the blade. So let's pull off the scabbards. I'm going to pull up the blades right there. And when I was doing some investigation, it looked like we had a little bit bigger cut and a little heavier duty blade. To me, what do you think? When you guys take a look at it, what do you see? Are they, do they look the same? Maybe they look the same to you. Maybe I'm just missing something, but feeling the weight wise, very good. They feel really good on the weight. All right, let's break open the 30 and just get a quick peek at that. So initial first impression, HSA 45. I always laughed at it. What a dumb head trimmer. Why would, want some, why would anybody want something that's so small that really couldn't cut anything? And then I tried one and for those tight, beautiful little shrubs that you have, a little bit bigger than the HSA 26 head trimmer, but little, you know, these nice little boxwoods, these little privet hedges, just a handy little tool that if you keep up on it, like I'm hitting these shrubs by my front, by my front door, if I'm hitting them every month, man, they always look tight. And that's what this brought. But I love the fact that we're now going to a replaceable battery. So if I run out of runtime, boom, I can grab my spare battery. Plus this battery is going to fit all kinds of different tools, right? And little secret more stuff is coming. So pay attention. All right. So I don't expect to see a whole lot of difference. But let's go ahead and drop this uh, 40 here off to the side along with its two batteries and charger. And let's get into the HSA 30 and take a peek at that. We've kind of gone over the basics by looking at the outside. Um, we'll get a peek at it real firsthand. Opening up the box, flipping that. Again, we should be able to slide right out. So here's the head trimmer, the HSA 30. I'm going to set that down. We're going to get the owner's manual out along with, let's not fight it like we did last time. Pop this open and we will have our charger right here. Let's go ahead and grab this battery right here and pop it in the HSA 30 battery engaged. It feels crisp, as does the HSA 40. So there we go, side by side. We're gonna see if I set them down a little bit more length, right? Let's go ahead and pop the, the scabbards off, the blade covers off. And let's take a look at the blades side by side and see if we got anything different going on. Actually, I do see something different. I want you guys to join me on this. If you look at the top of those blades, it's kind of odd. You notice that the HSA 30, that's on my left-hand side here, uh, is sharpened, I don't know, it just 
the blade looks different. Maybe it isn't. No, it's the same. It, uh, as far as their sharpening characteristics, but if I line them up tip to tip, see if I can do it this way, you're gonna see it's a little bit, remember this was 0.8 and this was 0.9 inches. So a little bit larger cut capacity out of the HSA 40, whether you need that. Cause keep in mind, this is not a big, bad gasoline powered uh, HS 82R hedge trimmer. This is a fine cleanup lawn tune up hedge trimmer, lightweight, made to do really fine work. 2,800 uh, strokes per minute, five pounds, 30 minute runtime on a battery and a battery that shares between all kinds of different tools. So keep an eye out guys. This might be a head trimmer that you need for your property to really keep it looking its best. What a cool tool. I'm excited. At first I was like, really steal another hedge trimmer, but I'm happy to see the HSA 45 go away. Not that it was a bad tool, but some serious improvements in the blade, in the uh, strokes per minute. The balance feels better. I like the switch change and the fact that we've taken the batteries and made them a replaceable battery, a rechargeable battery that we can swap between different tools. Stay tuned. What is coming next? Hey, for more information, to know what's coming out, to see the latest, the greatest, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Carl's Mower. We love to have you tuning in and seeing what we can teach you and learn together as we explore the outdoor power equipment industry. See you soon at Carl's Mower in Ferndale, Washington.